So yes, you are revising uh, the chances of chapter 11, right? I hope you all are revising the answers in the evening and writing it. Please do revise and write. Okay. Uh, use your time effectively and uh, learn thoroughly. Okay. Because I'm revising it very slowly for you people to learn it in the class time itself. So you can save time in the evening, just brush up and write it down. So I hope whatever we have learned so far, you are revising and writing. Now we'll continue. I think we'll have to revise the third long one. So once again, let me start sharing the screen. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry. That's okay.
so we'll repeat the third answer again because uh, the last part of the answer we I, I think we I, I revised little faster right so we'll repeat again the third answer i'm doing it for you people to learn it thoroughly so please concentrate and learn yeah explain the composition of blood blood uh, will repeat each point three times okay because we already did this in the previous class yesterday blood consists of four components that is plasma red blood cells white blood cells and platelets blood consists of four components that is plasma red blood cells white blood cells and platelets blood consists of four components that is plasma red blood cells white blood cells and platelets plasma is a liquid while rbc's wbc's and platelets float in it plasma is a liquid while rbc's wbc's and platelets float in it plasma is a liquid in it red blood cells or erythrocytes these are special blood cells which are red in color as they contain a red pigment called hemoglobin these are special blood cells which are red in color as they contain a red pigment called hemoglobin these are special blood cells which are red in color as they contain a red pigment called hemoglobin so the red color of your blood is because of hemoglobin okay hemoglobin helps in transporting oxygen to different parts of the body hemoglobin helps in transporting oxygen to different parts of the body hemoglobin helps in transporting oxygen to different parts of the body so if there is a depletion or of uh, hemoglobin or if there is low level of hemoglobin in your body uh, your body the cells will not get adequate amount of oxygen okay and if your body doesn't get adequate amount of enough ample amount of oxygen you will feel tired you will feel dizzy you will keep yawning okay you will you will start feeling little weak okay uh, like if you climb the staircase you start panting so hemoglobin is very important okay hemoglobin helps in transporting oxygen to different parts of the body repeat again red blood cells rbcs or erythrocytes these are special blood cells which are red in color as they contain a red pigment called hemoglobin these are special blood cells which are red in color as they contain a red pigment called hemoglobin hemoglobin helps in transporting oxygen to different parts of the body 
hemoglobin helps in transporting oxygen to different parts of the body wbcs white blood cells or leukocytes it is l e u c o c y t e s leukocytes these are special blood cells which protect our body against harmful germs and diseases these are special blood cells which protect our body against harmful germs and diseases these are special blood cells which protect our body against harmful germs and and are given they are larger than rbcs and are devoid of hemoglobin they are larger than rbcs and are devoid of hemoglobin they are larger than rbcs and are devoid of hemoglobin platelets these are small irregular tiny fragments of special cells formed in the bone marrow these are small irregular tiny fragments of special cells formed in the bone marrow these are colorless and help in the clotting of blood in a cut or wound these are colorless and help in the clotting of blood in a cut or wound these are colorless and help in the clotting of blood in a cut or wound plasma it is the sticky liquid part of the blood which is pale yellow in color it is sticky liquid part which is pale yellow in color it is the sticky liquid part of the blood which is pale yellow in color it is sticky liquid part of the blood which is pale yellow in color so when you get hurt when it bleeds you can you can see that yellowish color pale liquid that is what is plasma okay it is 90 percentage water and 3.5 percentage common salt it is 90 percentage water and 3.5 percentage common salt it is 90 percentage water and 3.5 percentage common salt it contains dissolved substance such as digested food and waste products and carry them from one part to another part in the body it contains dissolved substance such as 
digested food and waste products and carry them from one part to another part in the body. We will repeat the points of plasma. Excuse me. It is the sticky liquid part of the blood which is pale yellow in color. It is the sticky liquid part of the blood which is pale yellow in color. It is 90% water and 3.5% common salt. It is 90% water and 3.5% common salt. It contains dissolved substance such as digested food and waste products and carry them from one part to another part in the body. It contains dissolved It contains dissolved substance such as digested food and waste products and carry them from one part to another part in the body. So if this question is asked, explain the composition of blood, you will have to write all these points. Okay. That blood, uh, you can also write uh, some other point which you know like here the third short answer you have this question no what is blood name its components so like if it is a length it's, it's a if it is a long answer you can write whatever you know about it okay you can write this in the beginning blood is a fluid like what is blood and then you can explain the components okay uh, so blood is a body fluid in human and other animals that delivers necessary substances such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transports metabolic waste away from those same cells. The components of blood are RBCs, WBCs, platelets and plasma. And then you can write about this. RBC, WBC, platelets, plasma. Okay. Next answer. Explain the structure of a human heart with the help of a labeled diagram. So this diagram, as I told you, this is your this is your activity. There are a few more who have to still submit. Please submit it. And a kind request to all of you, please practice. The diagram see this is the link which i've shared the content so please go and check right don't try to draw in the same way like this is just a, a rough diagram okay i want you people to draw and practice how it is given in the link okay this was the most simple one that's why i pasted this one here the other were a little complicated so now, yes, we will get into the answer. Uh, explain the structure of a human heart with the help of a labeled diagram. Why I'm asking you again and again to go and see the link? Because in the activity, I saw there were few who have not practiced what is given in the link. There were few who have drawn this diagram, which is here on this page. Okay, so I want that diagram right okay first point of the answer the heart is a is an organ which beats continuously as a pump for the transport of blood carrying other substances with it through a network of tubes or blood vessels the heart is an organ which beats continuously as a pump for the transport of blood carrying other substances with it. 
through a network of blood vessels. <laughs> The heart is an organ which beats continuously as a pump for the transport of blood carrying other substances with it through a network of tubes or blood vessels. The heart pumps blood throughout our life without stopping or relaxing. The heart help pumps blood throughout our life without stopping or relaxing. the structure of a human heart. The heart has four compartments called as chambers. Now this is a very interesting answer because you are learning about your heart. Yes, the heart has four compartments called as the upper Two chambers of heart are called atria or atrium, singular is atrium. And the lower two chambers of heart are called ventricles. The heart has four compartments called as chambers. The upper two chambers of heart are called atria and the lower two chambers of heart are called ventricles. On the left side of heart, so just imagine your heart, on the left side of heart are left atrium and left ventricle. The chamber on the top is left atrium and left bottom is left ventricle. And on the right side of the heart are right atrium and right ventricle. So your heart has four chambers. Two cha uh, our two chambers, uh, upper two chambers of the heart are called atria and lower two chambers of the heart are called ventricles. On the left hand side, the chamber on the top, the upper chamber is called left atrium and the bottom chamber is called left ventricle. On the right side of the heart, the upper chamber is called right atrium and the lower chamber is called right ventricle. The atria and ventricles are separated by walls. The atria and ventricles are separated by walls. The atria and ventricles are separated by walls. These are the muscular flaps. What are the muscular flaps? The walls. We are talking about the walls. Okay. These are the muscular flaps that allow the blood to flow in only one direction. Muscular flap means a small piece of tissue, okay, which acts like a door. These are the muscular flaps with that allow the blood to flow in only one direction. The right side of the heart, the right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood while the left side of the heart carries oxygenated blood. 
the right side of the heart what do you have on the right right side the right atrium and the right ventricle so the right atrium and right ventricle carries the deoxygenated blood while the left side of the heart where you have the left atrium and the left ventricle they carry the oxygenated blood the right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood while the left side of the heart carries oxygenated blood the heart is separated by a partition called septum the heart is separated by a partition called septum so the right hand side uh, the right side of the heart is separated from the left hand side uh because of a partition which is called septum okay this septum uh, prevents the mixing of uh, uh, deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood okay the heart is separated by a partition called septum from right side of the heart to the left side this prevents mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood inside the heart this prevents the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood inside the heart this prevents the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood inside the heart quickly repeat two times this is very easy and simple answer don't get panic looking at the length of the answer all the points are very easy so once you just keep yours your, like imagine like think about your heart and if you are interested if you learn about uh, the chambers the names and all it becomes more interesting okay the heart is an organ which beats continuously as a pump for the transport of blood carrying other substances with it through a network of tubes or blood vessels the heart pumps blood throughout our life without stopping or relaxing structure of a human heart the heart has four compartments called as chambers the upper two chambers of heart are called atria and the lower two chambers of heart are called ventricles on the left side of the heart are left atrium and left ventricle and on the right side of the heart are right atrium and right ventricle the atria and ventricles are, are separated by walls these are the muscular flaps that allow the blood to flow in only one direction so this can come as an objective dash are the muscular flaps present in the heart that allow the blood to flow in only one direction what are they v a l v e s valves okay the right side of the heart carries deoxygenated blood while the left side of the heart carries oxygenated blood and there is a small partition which separates the right side and the left side from the left side the heart is separated by a partition called septum from right side of the heart to the left side this prevents what is the role of septum this prevents mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood inside the heart this prevents mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated